Sergio Perez. Let me guess. Tech Hoyer. That's the new career of Tour Bloom. That was actually a shock when Tech Hoyer is wearing here is a 45 millimeter monster, right? This is the piece of shit, but it was an actual watch. And that was a new. Max on the left. You probably stole that picture of his Mrs. Instagram, which, by the way, is definitely worth a visit. <laughs> What you see Max wearing on the left is the Rolex Daytona reference number 116518LN Lunette Noir with the black ceramic bezel, oyster flex, and 18 karat yellow gold. Right, he's wearing the titanium Tech Heuer Monaco. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the Monaco, but this is the first time they've ever skeletonized the, wearing the perfect entry level Tech Heuer you can buy. This is a very, very easy entry in the watch world. I like the Formula One. This watch features a tachometer, which allows you to measure. I'll just think. I don't think it will fit on later. So, here in Miami, nice and warm in the stadium, and we've got a game. That's the watch I tried to put on my wrist. That is for sure the Richard Mille. Look at that RM67! No baller! Look at that, guys! I don't know what the straps to get. You need to choose my next uh, strap. Oh, look at you. Look at me. Was this the. Next, Lewis Hamilton. The most eccentric guy on the fucking planet. That guy sometimes comes in walking with a bin bag. I don't really want to go in depth about IWC, to be honest. IWC and I are a bit on a... I want to talk about that Patek Philippe 5980, because that is the daddy. This is the first time Patek Philippe has ever made that watch swaps hands between 160 dollars and $200,000. Keep in mind, last year that watch was swapping at like $250,000 or more. That's insane, right? 5740 as well. A watch that goes for $200,000. Like the 5740 is the first ever perpetual calendar in a Nautilus. So in, a, in this case, it was fitted onto a white gold sports watch. Daniel, you see, that's the new career on the left. That's the one I really love. Beautiful watch that was introduced this year. The 5270 is such an important watch, you know. A perpetual calendar and a chronograph in a incredible watch called Glass Means. That's actually the crest of the Polish army. George, no, we're not. Fernando Alonso. I'm just saying this, right? See that RM6702 on the right? That watch, that's his. That was made with him together with Richard Mille. That's like, that watch is named